human anymore. That's a malaika or jinn. Human, human, they are humans. They make fun, they make jokes, they have wives, they get angry, they can fight, they can, you see? You don't follow somebody because he's perfect. You follow somebody because he knows the road, the way, the path, a bit better than yourself. If you hope to find somebody perfect, you better die from now. Nobody's perfect after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hadi khidma, keep in mind. And if you, you always searching, trying to find the perfect ustad, the perfect sheikh, and anytime you see uh, something who is probably according to sharia or according to your own taste, the dhok, uh, maybe it was not suitable, it was not perfect at that moment, keep in mind that it's normal. We are human. Nobody's perfect. See, so don't imagine to have this perfection with dunya. Perfection, inshallah, we work together with, uh, with the, the heritage and the legacy of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we try, we read, we read more hadith, we read more fiqh, we read more kalam al salihin. So each time we read, each year, we should be a bit, uh, with a, a bit higher status. It's like the degrees. You have high school, then you have bachelor, then master degree, then PhD. And after the PhD, you have a few degrees also. So you have to earn to be professor. Professor is much above PhD, right? So always, this is taqwa Allah. Al-khidma lillah wa li Rasulullah should increase with time. Don't try to do everything the same day because you will be lost and you will cut. You have some dhikr, 100, move to 200. 200, move to 300. It's better than doing 2000 and the next day it was too tiring, you do zero. <laughs> same thing for akhlaq, don't give. Don't give more than your energy. Huh? Uh, this religion is, is tough, it's hard, it's complicated. If you try to do it in one day, lose. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he was so perfect, but the religion was given to the ummah on 22, 3 years period. Allahu a'lam, but if you give all the rules in a week, it's possible to read Quran in a week and to read a lot of hadith in a week, but nobody will absorb it. Nobody will practice it. Nobody will understand it. Most of them will delete. Say, oh, that's too much. That's too much rules. Imagine the same day you arrive to Quraysh and they say, okay, your transaction, financial transaction are haram. This is called riba. So don't touch money anymore. The way you build is haram. Don't do this. The way you behave with this, don't do this anymore. You see, do you drink alcohol? And they drink very old alcohol, like old wine. Expensive. Okay, throw this. Forbidden the same day. And you start to forbid and give only the rules. It will never work. Rasulullah what was the first gesture from Sayyidina Jibri? Hug. Hug. أول حاجة عنكم. قبل ما يهدر له الشرع. A hug was the first thing done. A hug means if you create love, if you make this love exist and continue in people's heart, they will follow Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because we don't follow somebody we don't love. Automatically, try it with your wife. <laughs> if she loves you, she will follow you. If not, you have to pass by negotiations and talks. You see, so uh, when we love somebody, we automatically willing to follow. So that's why Rasulullah Sallam didn't say to, to the Ummah, Alimu awladakum, teach your children, your kids, uh, fiqh or hadith or Quran at the first step. He said, love me, love Ahlul Bayt, and then read Quran. Because if you love Rasulullah Sallam, love Ahlul Bayt, Rasulullah, you have strong ties, human ties heart to heart, heritage, legacy to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This mahabba will lead you to read Quran, but you will be prepared by the law to follow the rules you're going to find in Quran. Of whom?